All right, everybody. So good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. So glad you're here. Are you ready to listen to a story? With a story, we listen with our whole bodies. Are you ready? Listen with our ears. Everyone, show me your ears. Come on, there we go. Yes, give them a massage. Nice. And we, I welcome your cameras on. That's it. There you go, so we can see each other if you want to. There we go. Yes, nice and big ears. Excellent. Give them a good massage. Yes, a little stretch out. Yes, good, good, good. Nice, nice. And we also, we listen with our eyes. Yes, good. Very, oh yes, focus, focus, focus. Nice, yes, all oh, right, all uh -huh. Yes, I see Suvarna, yes, there you are. And Sri Devi, yes, hello. And Gethanjali, all right, very good. <laughs> and we also, we listen with our hands. All right, hands up, everybody. Good. <coughs> All right, side to side, everybody. Yes, get your hands moving. Eric, you two, hands up, hands up. That's it. Nice. Good. Okay, Ramya. Nice. Good. All right, the wave, everyone. Come, get the wave. Nice. Good. <laughs> and we also, we listen with our feet. Yes, everyone, feet up. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Nice, yes, yes. Feet up, feet up, feet up. <laughs> Good. And we also, we listen with our hearts. Can you get your heartbeat? Good. Yes. Yes, and not your heart. Good. Super. Super. <laughs> Eric, you okay? Did you fall out of your chair? <laughs> well, welcome everybody. I am very happy to be with you all the way from northern Minnesota, where we have it. It's chilly, but we, uh, I'm very, very glad to be with you all. So, well, um, just, uh, uh, just if you could, maybe um, those of you who have your cameras on, which I'm happy, tell me where, who, tell me your name and, and where are you calling from? Um, how about, uh, and please excuse, you'll forgive the mispronunciation of your names, um, but how about, um, Let's see, uh, Geth Gethanjali, where are you calling from? Hi, uh, Nicholas. I'm from the same place as Eric from Chennai, South India. All and right. It correctly, yeah, it's Gitanjali, correct. Wonderful. And, and you know what, and tell me, what is an animal that you have recently heard in the last few days? Animal. Mm -hmm. I have a puppy. I have a dog, pet dog at home, always. You have a dog at home. What kind of puppy do you have pug. at home? It's not a pug. It's a, a pug. Pug breed. It's a pug. Yeah. Oh, yes. Lovely. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Gitanjali. Wonderful. And how about um, Sri Devi? How are you doing? Where are you calling from? And what animal have you heard in the last few days? Hi, Nicholas. I'm Sri Devi calling from the same place as Eric and Gitanjali. I'm from Chennai, South India. Yes. And I usually hear my son's meows. We call him cat and he does a meow calling every morning. So that is what I heard in the morning. <laughs> Sounds crazy though. <laughs> Wonderful. Excellent. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Super. Welcome. I'm glad to see you. Glad you're here. And Ramya, what, 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 uh, where are you and uh, what animal have you heard and how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling great after all that waves and dancing <laughs> and Good. I'm from Bangalore, uh, South India and uh, I heard a squirrel, so a very small squirrel, yeah. 
Excellent. Super. Wonderful. And Suvarna. Oh, oh, oh. We are your, I mute, can't hear you're you. Mute. Yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. So, hi, Nicholas. Hi, everyone. Uh, very happy to uh, have that energetic beginning. Uh, I am from uh, Western India near Mumbai, from Pune, basically. And uh, in the past few days, uh, grey hornbills, you know, birds, really. But we have a lot of them flocking around a big tree here. It's a family. So that. What kind of birds did you say? Yeah, it was a grey hornbill. Oh, the gray hornbill. That's right. Wonderful. Excellent. There, so. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thank Bye. you. Eric, how about you? Me? Yes. I, I, I heard a mosquito. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Well, I'm glad. And how are you doing, Eric? I'm okay. Super. Excellent. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. And we have one more. Hello, Miss Getu. How are you? Where are you calling from? Hello, and what okay. animal have you heard in the last few days? Uh, what animal? Any animal will do, right? It's not only the bird. Because oh, no, 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 no. Any oh. animal you've heard. A cat bird. A cat bird? The cat birds, those are the little uh, gray ones, right? Uh, no, a cat, basically a cat. Cat, cat. Oh, a cat! Yes, a cat. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, and I'm from Mumbai. Right. I'm from, from Mumbai. Mumbai. I just saw Wonderful. Eric's message. And I, I do storytelling for children. So I said, let me join in quickly. I just saw his message and I just joined in. That's why I didn't hear the beginning. I just joined in. Wonderful. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I, we have just started as well. Super. Yeah, I'm glad you. you're here. All right. Now, I there. We're, you know, usually when I do this program, I have anyone who's on anyone who's not in video. I leave on the top and those who are on video, I usually add in the so we all can see each other. That's what I usually do. But we're just going to be fine like this today but usually i i see oh, and th so when i tell the story i might do some in betweens um some some checkings because i think using zoom creatively is a very exciting a very exciting thing um so just curious why is why is get to spotlighted right now i don't know how to oh i haven't spotlighted her uh let's see do i have to do something no you're not spotlighted uh nicholas i'm gonna spotlight you all right well all right so i was outside i was visiting my grandma outside in austria my grandma's from austria and i oh and and i and welcome to the rest of you but uh Hello to Agnieszka and hello to Kavita and hello to Sureka and Nidhi and and hello to everyone else. Very glad you are all here at the story table. So I was visiting my grandmother in Austria a few years ago and I was walking in the in the forest and a small bird, a small bird came and she flew down. And she began to talk to me. And she told me a beautiful story, an old, old story from Austria that the birds have been telling each other for a very, very long time. I loved it. I love this story that she told me. Would you like to hear this story? Yes. All right. <clears throat> All right, everyone, take your hands like this. Once upon a time, once upon a time, once upon a time. There was a castle. Now everyone make a very strong, large castle. That's it with a large castle roofs. Yes, excellent. A large castle. And in the middle of that castle, there was a garden. Can you show me your garden? Right in the middle, a great garden. Very good. And in the middle of this garden, there grew a great tree. 
Can you all grow into a great, great tree with branches? Yes, let me see your branches. Wonderful. Oh, yes, Ramya, very nice. Your leaves. The leaves are just blowing in the wind. Very good. Oh, Gethanjai. Oh, wonderful. Excellent. I see so many different trees. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Kavita, you're around, surrounded by the green trees. <laughs> Super. Excellent. And in this tree, there lived the golden bird. <clears throat> Now this golden bird, she was beautiful, and she sang so sweetly. Who can sing like the bird, the golden bird? Tell, can you, anyone sing? Maybe can you unmute and make the sound of how can you whistle or sing like a Agnieszka, can you? Can you, say, can you sing like the bird? <laughs> yeah, I don't know uh, how to sing like a bird. Uh, tweet, 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 tweet. tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. That's it. Or and can anyone else? Anyone else? Can I? Can anyone else sing or whistle like the bird? Ooh. Ooh, wonderful! And when the golden bird sang, there was peace in the land. There was justice in the kingdom, and everything was well. Now, just down the hill from the castle, there was a farm. There was a farm, and there were two young children in the farm, a boy and a girl, twins, and they had birthday. And for their birthday, they received a beautiful little animal. What animal do you think they got? What do you think? Someone tell me, what do you think? Rabbit. A rabbit. Good guess, cat. but not a rabbit. Hmm. What else? <laughs> a cat. A cat. Good idea, but not yeah. a cat. An elephant. An elephant. Yeah. Oh, okay. what a good idea. No, not an elephant. A dog. A dog? No, not a dog. Hamster. A dragon. Hamster. Oh, darling idea, but not a hamster. What else? A bird? A bird? No, not a bird. Um, this cow. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> this animal. A little cow. A little, little calf. And so the children and the cow grew up together. Can everyone, can you grow the cow and the children? They grew up and they grew up. Everyone, take your hands. They grew up and up and they grew and they grew and they grew and they were the best of friends. They would play all day. What kind of games would they play? Someone tell me what kind of games? Hide and seek. Hide and seek, what else? Movies, watching movies. Did you say <laughs> movies? <laughs> I have told this story many times, and I have never heard movies, and I think that's fantastic. Who suggested movies? It's Sri Devi. That's fantastic. Thank you. They watched movies, and they played many games. Now, this was no regular cow. This was a magic cow, and this cow could speak. And this cow was a great friend. And this cow also taught the children a song. And it went like this. And it's a song they sang every day. It went. Oi, 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 oi. Can you all try singing that with me? Oi, 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 One more time, and if you want to unmute, that's good. You can unmute. Oi, 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 o
Good! Dobrze, Agnieszka. Bardzo dobrze. And so... Pięknie śpiewa. Bardzo pięknie śpiewa. <laughs> and, and so... They sang the song every day. Now one day, one day, there was a... Uh, Eric, can you confirm that we go until... Uh, uh, it's one and a half hours, right? Are we just sure on track and schedule? Yes. We go till 6.30, yes? Right. And so, one day a terrible news came. Terrible news! Something had stolen the golden bird! It was a terrible creature! A terrible creature with big teeth! And a long tail, who knows? What was it? A crocodile. Oh! Very close! Very close to a crocodile, but not quite a crocodile. Even more terrible! Dinosaur? Yes, kind of, kind of, like, dragon. but a dinosaur that has fiery, fiery breath. Dragon. A dragon, yes, it was a terrible dragon that came. Let me see your dragon, everyone, your, your big teeth. Yes, huge teeth. And the dragon came, and the dragon took the golden bird, and he took him under her, his wing, and he took her over the sea. And he took her to his cave inside a mountain of fire. Ah, oh, the people! The golden bird was gone. And so the peace in the kingdom was broken. There was unhappiness and justice was lost. And things did not go well in that kingdom. Well, one day, the cow, the cow said to the children, we must go and get this golden bird back. And the children said, repeat after me, oh no! Oh no! That's too dangerous! That's too dangerous! But the cow said, don't worry. I'll help you. Can you all say that? Don't, don't, don't worry. worry. I'll I help, help you. And so the children got on the cow. Everybody, hold on to the cow. You, are you holding the horns? Let me see. Is everyone holding the horns? Yes, everyone. Nidhi, wonderful. You're riding the horn. Uh, Kavita, yes, you're hold. You've got it. Excellent. And so they began to ride. Everyone, ride, ride, ride the cow, ride the cow. That's it. They rode the cow. They rode the cow. They rode the cow. They rode the cow. Rode the cow. Until they got to what? A river? Mm, I didn't say the river. What did I say? Mountain. 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 Fire mountain. Fire mountain. Not the fire mountain. Before the fire mountain. The, the tree. The sea. They got to the sea. A great sea. And the children said, repeat me, oh no. Oh, oh no. No. Everyone repeat after me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. It's too far. It's too far. But the cow said, remember? Don't, Don't worry. worry. I help I'll you. Help you. And you know what the cow did? The cow began. Ramya, it looks like, are you swimming? <laughs> You're flying? <laughs> now, this is a talking cow. This is not a flying cow. <laughs> not a flying cow, but excellent idea. There are some flying cows in the world, but this is not one of them. No, it's not. And it's not. You know what she did? Now, wait, first of you. Now, if you were a faced. Wait, so this cow, she began. She, she bent down. Everyone, bend down. Bend down like this. Here, you can stand. We can stand up like this. You can stand up, everyone. Stand up. 
Stand up and you can be like the cow. And she began to drink the water. Everyone drink the water. That's it. And she began, and she got big, and they began to walk across the water. And not the water, the land. Everyone walk, walk, walk across the dry, dry land. They walked across, they walked across until, until they saw. What did they see? What did they see? What's the next thing they saw? Mountain. Yes, what kind of mountain? Fire mountain. The mountain of fire. It was hot. Everybody, hot, 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 hot. Yes, yes. It was a mountain of fire. Can you make the fire? Psst. That's it. The fire. Excellent. And the children said, Oh no. Oh no. It's too hot. It's too, it's too hot. hot. But the cow said, I'll help you. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I will help you. And what do you think the cow did? Yes, water. Ramya. Everybody spit out the water. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Gotta clean up here a little bit. It's such a mess. <laughs> yes! The cow spit out the water and the sound of the fire went out. Can you make the sound of the fire? <laughs> yes, and so. They walked and they saw the the hole of the cave. Can everyone show me the hole of the cave? The entrance. And they walked to the cave and they looked. Oh, Ramya, that is fantastic. Look at that. Can everyone see Ramya holding the, the door of the cave? Everyone, let's make the door to the cave like Ramya. And they looked inside the, the, the cave. Look inside. And in very carefully, just with one eye. Yes, they looked inside. And they saw inside, they saw the terrible, terrible dragon. Can you make the growling sound of the dragon? And they te his teeth were big. And the children looked at the cow and they said, Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He's too dangerous. He's too dangerous. <laughs> but what did the cow say? Don't worry. Don't worry. I help you. Help you. That's not what the cow said. No, 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 no. The cow said, oh, no, that's, that's too hard. That's too dangerous. Cannot do that. Nope. Sorry. This, you, you're on your own on this one. Okay. And so the children are standing there at the gate of the cave. What would you do if you were standing by that cave and the dragon was inside and behind the dragon is the golden bird? What would you do? What would you do? I would sing. I would sing a lullaby. Who said that? <laughs> Me. Suvarna. Suvarna, you you would sing. You I mean would you sing. wouldn't you do you remember how the song goes? Uh, Can we all remember how the song goes? That's exactly uh, what the cow said. Yeah. Yes. Oh and the cow la, said la, sing. La, um, that song. Yeah. Sing that song. Ooh, la, 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 la. That's it. That's it. And so how about we all take our hands like this and very quietly, they began to sing the song 
outside the cave. Are you ready? Let's do it one more time. And as the children sang that song, the dragon went to sleep. The dragon fell asleep. And the dragon snored loudly. Let me hear the, the, the snoring of the great dragon. Yes, unmute, unmute so I can hear the dragon. Everyone. And as the dragon slept, as the dragon slept, the children We need to tiptoe now, everyone. Can everyone stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. We have to tiptoe around the dragon. Okay, careful, careful, don't step on the dragon. The dragon is sleeping. Okay, we need some of you who we can't see. We need your, your we need the sound of the snoring. Please snore, snore, snore. And tiptoe around, tiptoe, careful, careful, tiptoe around. That's it, tiptoe, tiptoe, keep tiptoeing. And then they got to the back of the, of the cave and get the golden bird. Catch the golden bird. That's right. Put her under your arm. That's it. Uh, we need snoring. Unmute. We need to hear the snoring. Yes. Yes, yes. Snore, snore. Come back. Tiptoe back. Tiptoe back. Tiptoe back. That's it. Tiptoe back. That's it. That's it. You can hold the bird. Hold the bird tight. That's it. And they got back to the cow. And when they got to the cow, they rode the cow back. Everyone ride the cow. Ride the cow, ride the cow, ride the cow. Yes, yes, ride the cow. And where did they ride the cow to? The mountain. The, not the mountain. The mountain, they're going away from the mountain. They, they rode to the sea. Ocean. sea. Well, no. the sea was all gone. Yes, they rode to the castle, castle. To back to the castle. Everyone ride back to the castle. Ride back to the castle. That's it. Ride, 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 ride. And when they got there, the king and the queen were so happy. The golden bird, she flew back into the great tree at the center of the castle. She flew back and she began to sing. Can you sing like the golden bird again? She sang and when she sang, peace came back into the kingdom. And justice came back into the court and into the castle. And the people were happy and when people are happy, the king said, we need to have a celebration. We need to celebrate the coming, the return of this bird and these children. Now, for a good celebration, what do you need for a good celebration? Lots of food. Lots Music. of food. What kind of food? Music and dance. <laughs> Music and Sweets. dance. Well, what kind of food do you need? Sweets. Chocolate. Sweets. Yes. Sweets and not sweets. And then cake. more sweets. Yes. Cake. Ex Did you say cake? Yeah. Yes. All kinds of sweets. All kinds of cakes. Yes. What else do you need for a good celebration? Dancing. Music and dance. Music and dancing. Yes. Music and dancing. Very good. And that is exactly what the king and queen did. They called the best musicians in the whole country. And the musicians came and they had a dance. And 
It was fantastic. And that's what we're going to do right now, everybody. Okay, so okay. this is how we're going to do it. We're going to follow my dances first. You're gonna, you're gonna follow my dance, and then I'm going to call on people to, to, um, to change the dance, all right? So when I call your name, you're going to change the dance move, and we're all going to follow you. So if you would like, it might be easier. Uh, you might wanna put your, uh, your uh, Zoom on gallery. If you, go, if you go to the top and click on view, and then press gallery, you will see everybody who is on camera. And that will just help us uh, see each other a little bit better. Are you ready, everybody, to dance with the children and the cow and the golden bird? All right, here we go, everybody. Wonderful, wonderful. And so they danced and they had a wonderful, wonderful celebration. And there was, on the castle walls, there was a little bird, a little sparrow. And this little bird saw and heard the whole story. And she told the other sparrows, and they had been telling each other this story for hundreds of years. And one of those sparrows told me. And now I've been able to tell so, now what we're going to do is this. I hope, if you don't already have it, <clears throat> you can please go find a piece of paper. It can be as simple, any kind of paper, and some pencils or crayons, or markers, or paint, or whatever you'd like. And we are going to, wait, before you go, before you go, before you go, here, let me give you the instructions so everyone knows, everyone knows. So, what we're going to do is, on your paper, I'd like you to draw, what did you hear in this story? What did you hear? What was important for you? What did you like the best, maybe? Whatever it was, draw what you heard from this story, all right? We're gonna take a few minutes now to draw, and then I welcome anyone afterward to share their drawing with the rest of us, all right, if you would like. So we'll all take some time together and uh, we will we'll draw right now together and then we'll talk about it in a little bit, all right? Excuse me, Nicholas. Yes. We have, draw, we have to draw the bird. No, no. Huh. I invite you to draw whatever you heard in the story. Whatever I heard in the story. Whatever you heard, whatever part you like the best. Okay. Whatever part was important to you. Okay. Any part of the story you want to draw, any part at all. Okay. okay? And then we'll talk about our drawings in a little bit, okay? Oh. <clears throat> teaching moment, teaching moment. Drawing is an ancient, ancient form of remembering, right? Drawing is not childish at all. It is the, it is the most ancient form of, of, of recording that we have 
as human beings. While drawing is often um, regarded, especially in the United States, as something children do, that is a, um, that's a tragedy. It really is. It's a tragedy. And drawing, it precedes language, right? We know that to be true. Drawing precedes language. And the ability to draw and communicate through drawing is a primary and important thing that human beings do. And whether we look at the Lascaux Caves in France or anywhere, drawing and many of the drawings that we see in the ancient world are drawings of the stories that are important to them. And that communicates to the generations to come. And so by drawing, we, uh, we not only communicate what we feel and what's important to us, but we also communicate in a way that is easily understood to anybody. It is, it is a very, very, um, very valuable and very advanced form of communication because you do not need to speak the language, right? A drawing communicates in any language. And so taking time to draw is a, a very important, and there are many reasons, there are many ways to do art. But for this, for the, pro, for, the, for, the, for the process of storytelling, drawing and story go very closely together, right? Very close. If we were to look at the great temples, the great, the great works all over the world, we cannot separate that from drawing and art. And many of them tell stories. So, and it does not have to be perfect. Don't worry about being perfect. Just give yourself the freedom to draw or to paint, however you're doing that. And if you're not comfortable sharing it, that's fine. Maybe next time you'll share, but now just take some time. Or if you do this project with children, um, this is a good time for me to, to do a little bit of unpacking since we have the time. Uh, if you ever have stories, and I would encourage you to consider taking time for children, especially children, because adults, oh my God, adults. Oh. Adults sometimes think they don't need to do that, and that's okay, but children will. And if you let them draw the story, they will have another way of processing it. They will listen deeper. They will listen more carefully when they're drawing. They'll take time to quietly listen. And you give them space for them to replay the story in their minds, in their hearts, in their hands, right? We began this story today by listening with all of our body parts, with our eyes, our ears, our hands, our feet. Indeed, we did listen all these ways because we danced as well. And dancing is an incredibly important way of being together and listening together. And now we're listening by drawing. We're listening with our hands. And the more ways we can listen, the better we retain and I've told stories to children in this way, and I come back to them one, two, three years later, and they remember the story very well. And they remember it because they have been involved in different ways. The, the, technical, the, technical, the, technical form, the technical word for this is multiple intelligence theory. All right, this is... Um, although <clears throat> it changes, the theory changes, uh, the concept that children need diver not just children, people need diversified ways of listening and engaging is very important to education and is good pedagogy for anybody. Some people say, I'm an auditory learner or a visual learner. 
I'm like, well, we're all of them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to draw two now. Nicholas, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Yeah, so yes. usually you are drawing your stories? I'm sorry? Are you drawing your stories usually? I'm, well, I'm sorry, what do you mean by usually? Are you drawing? Are you, are, are you making drawings? So now you're making yes. drawings for us, but usually did, are you making oh, drawings of your I stories? Do. I do always draw <laughs> your stories. Always. Yeah, I'm doing the same. <laughs> Are you? It's very yeah, important. Yeah. Because in a world where yeah. where a world where uh children where where the dominant storyteller of the time is movies, right? Mm, mm -hmm. and, and cartoons. And our children are exposed mm, to right, a lot of right. that, and so they consume a lot of images. All right, mm. but they're mm. not able, and, and there are many great movies in the world, but there is a problem with movies. One, there are many problems. And a great problem with movies are that the image is already created in the mind of the person. Yeah, yeah. And that is mm -hmm. very problematic in many, many, many ways. Uh, we even have had this argument in religion for many times as well, right? I mean, the images are very, they can be tricky, right? And so mm -hmm. by draw, when, by, by being able to draw, we get to have our own image and we get to manifest our own image. So if I say, draw me, uh, this story has a grandma. Or let's say in this story, there's a dragon, right? Everyone will be able mm. to draw their own dragon or their own golden bird. And it's going to look different for everybody. Yeah. But when mm -hmm. I give you a movie of a dragon, 
and a golden bird. Or worse, people, they're going to look the way that we make it. And that's very problematic. Mm -hmm. But if I draw a person, I'll draw them how I see them. And typically, I'll draw someone who looks like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And it's important that we that we're able to foster that creativity and that autonomy. Yeah, and also that we, they can they can use the tools, right? So they, they can, can use, use the the, the, the paper the tools, and they, they can, can do it manually. Manually, not it's not very with laptop or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea that and I, I. I is the idea that storytelling is, uh, it is, it is a, uh, one of my friends, Helmut Wittmann is re helped re get, re is for, Hel for Helmut Wittmann from Austria, he's actually here at the festival as well. He helped um, UNESCO put mm -hmm. storytelling on the, the UNESCO map as one of the intangible arts. And that's true, yeah. storytelling is the intangible art. But if we look around the world, we will see a great amount of physical art, drawing, sculpture, mm -hmm. uh, design, and a great number of it is inspired by story. Mm -hmm. A tremendous amount. Yeah, yeah. From yeah. ancient times yes, to modern yes, times. Right, so right, we need to, it's right, important right. that we connect that and we do not only consume what, what yeah. someone else has made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that was also so important that you that you mentioned that you don't. It's over the language. It's above in the languages. It it's can be understood to everyone. Yeah, the dance yeah. is also above language. So I yeah. am, I'm proud. I'm grateful to say that I speak a few languages. I speak English and German, <laughs> and I'm working on Sp on Spanish. I też mówię po polsku trochę ciczka. No słabe, ale mówię. But but languages, uh, I also mm -hmm. like to say that dance is another language. And in many yeah. ways, dance yeah. is a crucially important and oftentimes most important language because it is the nonverbal language, right? And we, mm, we know from mm, mm -hmm. research that most of communication, even so much to say as 90% of communication is nonverbal, right? So yeah, we can talk yeah, as like, much as we mm -hmm. want to, but 90% or some number, I mean, someone's, but we know the majority mm -hmm. of communication is nonverbal. That means yeah. how I'm yeah. presenting, what my body is doing how I look at you, how I listen to you, how my body responds is primarily important for communication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. So and those, into that. yeah. And, uh, and, the, yes. and the, the story is another, the drawing is another form of nonverbal communication. Yeah, 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 totally. Uh -huh. I had even this experience when I was telling the story to to the kids in uh, in the cultural center after i don't know i gave them illustration so they could but exactly follow the illustration uh, according to the story after two or three weeks they could perfectly tell the story perfectly like yes. this like hop exactly. yeah yeah yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I'm always telling them when you have the illustration, you can, now you are to tell the story to your parents. Yeah. Right. You can use right. English or Polish because I'm teaching English. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, it's so beautiful. So yeah. What I will use. They come back I, I, and they say, yeah, I did it. Show me. And that's yeah. that's why I'm giving us time to draw. Now, yeah. I, now, we get to unpack, but typically when I do this, I don't talk. Right. I let mm -hmm. people, but we get to unpack, right? We have time to do that. And we, we now have still half an hour. And my programs are always 90 minutes on Zoom mm -hmm. or in person, because it's important we take time to draw. Literally, we take 15 minutes yeah. and we're almost there now. My drawing okay. is not quite done, but that's mm -hmm. okay. We take time to draw and mm -hmm. then we'll take time to talk about the drawing, which we'll do. And the messages, which we'll get to later, 
now you can take this drawing like you said agnieszka and you mm -hmm. and this this drawing will help you remember the story so that you can tell right. it to somebody else mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. crucially important in this as well crucially important yeah so i'm mm -hmm. almost done i i i i we're going to, we're, how about, how about two more minutes, everybody, two minutes to finish your drawing and then, or maybe one minute, one, maybe I, mean, I go very, very fast. I'll go very, very fast. We're going to do this very, very fast. I did not, we're not quite done, but that's okay. We're going to do this fast. Oh, yo, yo. Good, good, good. We'll do this fast. Okay, so <clears throat> who would like to share their drawing and tell us about your drawing? Uh, Gethanjali, please, would you like to share? Oh, oh, we can't hear you. Oh, oh, we still can't hear you. Oh, we cannot, we cannot hear you, but we can see you. All right, we can see you. We can't hear you. Ah, look, there you've drawn the fire mountain, the mountain of fire, the cave, the dragon, the water, the boy and the girl, and the golden bird. Ah, yes, and the cow. Wonderful. Yes, 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 yes. And the blue oh, water. Are. And the blue water. The I've drawn the water because you know the cow spits at the fire, right? So yes, that's that. Yeah, it denotes that. That blue line yes. denotes the water spit by the cow. Excellent. Thank Wonderful. You. Can I and share? The, thank you for your share. And then let's. Oh, the dragon. Oh, <laughs> the dragon. Can we see the dragon a little bit better? Yes. Oh, look at the teeth and the scales of the dragon. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Gethanjali. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Would anyone else like to share their May book? I? Yes. Si Who was that? Gitu. Yes, Gitu. Gitu. Yes, please. <laughs> I've got the cow. Uh, can you all see it? I've yes. got the cow. Cow was the main character. Then I've got all the all the obstacles, the water, the sea, the uh, mountain, fire. Then the cave, and I'm not showing dragon because I've shown the fire here, so the dragon is inside. Yes. And I can, uh, you know, this is the finally the bird comes and sits in the middle of the garden, and I've written the song two three lines. Oy, oy, yes. What we yes. 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 And I've also drawn the crown of the king and queen because they were happy when they came back, when the golden yes. bird came back. Yes. Yeah. And the children, of course. The children are here. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> 
And there is the music. There is the music. That yeah, yes, yes, yes. That's for the end. I couldn't draw food because my paper was small. I said, now I guess I've just done everything there. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Oh, I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you for your drawings. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Who else would like to share their drawing? I can show something. Which, um, I had to do it very quickly in between. Uh, I had to leave to pick up my son. Yes, so, Ramya, I see. Yes. So this is something. There's the cow, the fiery mountain, and the sea, and the dragon, and I don't know, the birds. They're just dancing. I think what's, what stayed with me was all the dancing. So I drew this first, and uh, then the rest of the characters just kept coming in random order. But uh, this uh, was stood out for me was all the dancing and all the joy. Thank you. Yes. yes. And look, there is the golden bird with a beautiful tail. <laughs> a beautiful tail and the mountain of fire right there. Yes. <laughs> ah, excellent. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Ramya. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Wonderful. Okay. Who else yeah, would like to just, share? Yeah, I would like yes, to Yes, Agnieszka. Oh, I'm sorry. I can only see Agnieszka at the moment. Yes, Agnieszka. <laughs> yeah, so uh, at, at the beginning of when you started to telling the story, uh, I started drawing because I'm used to it. <laughs> Just like this. Uh-oh. And this is oh, very yes. simple, very, very basic sketch. Uh, I had a very short, a little sketchbook. So this is the, the beginning. The beginning of the story with the yes. uh, wait the light is is now yeah oh yeah. there it is so yeah with the bird here in the forest it's pastel yeah dragon cow the songs yeah <laughs> mm. and this is the, the part two of the stories yes so yeah, with dances at the end and yeah, with dragon sleeping. <laughs> yes, yeah. and there are the children on the cow and the two are holding hands. Yes, 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 yes. So they are they are the children on the cow and this is the bird they rescued and they're going to the castle to have a party at the end. Yes. Fantastic. Spaniawe. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> you Agnieszka. Thank you. Super. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Wonderful. Is there any who else would like to share, please? Yeah, I would like to share, but I'm actually in my son's uh, badminton class, so I don't have access to paper. So I tried to That's draw okay. the story in a mobile. So can you see this drawing? A small dragon. And uh, yeah. Can you see the dragon inside the cave and yes. children are getting inside the golden bird. It doesn't look like a bird though. <laughs> oh yes, it does. I can see, I can see the bird. Yes. Yeah, and the fiery mountain and the mm -hmm. cow um, and the seas. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you draw that on your phone? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Fantastic. Fantastic. What a great use of technology. Wonderful. Thank you very much. It, it's such a compelling workshop that we cannot, uh, you know, uh, take a moment out of the session. So thank you. Thank you. For all the super, super. Well, I'm glad. Wonderful, Sri Devi. Excellent. Suvarna, I think I saw your hand as well. Would you like to share? Oh, but we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Yeah. All right. So am I visible? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So um, it's like the, the, the tree of joy, you know, justice and happiness. And everything dwells here. So the castle is in the tree trunk somewhere. Yeah. So it's yes. like the life. Yeah. And around it, as you go ahead, then I've just kid, uh, I made the two kids, smiling kids with the moon all right so together they are just you know traveling 
and then there are these mountains and the seas through where they travel and then they have to go through this hidden part and comes the dragon i don't know how to draw a dragon so i've just drawn what i could see the fear element and you know whatever they're doing and then the magic the moon magic continues so sing 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 and then finally all swell and they return back the same path and so as they are traveling you know the joy and the celebration is all here in yes. a, oh sorry it can't be seen i think yeah this is better yes yeah so in the you know just the splashes of joy of different colors and then yes. in the end again a small opening where we finally see <clears throat> the real golden bird has emerged and she is you know throwing her light everywhere back to the joy of the tree of life Oh, beautiful. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks to you Nicholas. This is uh, so beautiful. I think uh, I'm going to say it while I get the chance because uh, the whole journey we were on the cow, okay? And we yes. were traveling all with you. I could actually see my uh, young listeners and how they would be spellbound. They wouldn't be distracted. They would be like, you know, into the story throughout. and yes. i think uh, uh, like you know sketching it in the way we know it really like you know helps the story being sponged in mm -hmm. so yes. every bit i absolutely loved i think you know the child in me came out today wonderful i was like and dancing and you know drawing splashing everything so thanks so wonderful. much wonderful yeah and you said something very if i understood you correct did i understand correctly that you can you show your picture again did yeah. you draw did you say that the castle and everything are inside the tree that's right here i've drawn the castle i don't know if it's seen yeah it's it's just like the door and a structure inside the tree trunk so as you enter you know the joy is like coming out of the tree itself and the bird now it's like me the bird has come out and it's singing now after all the you know that i have to take whatever from the soil and then i have to struggle i have to wait for the sunlight i have to fight the wind and then finally i'm coming out and i'm like you know slowly it's unfolding like you know the difficulties and then yes. the joy and then actually get to see the bird yes that, yes that's, the, that's what i felt in the story so it's beautiful thank you beautiful thank yeah. you thank you thank you for sharing your drawing and talking about it beautiful thank you nicholas Lovely. i i wanted to note that um here in india in the countryside and even in a couple of places in in the big cities uh small homes are built around living trees mm. yeah living trees serve as pillars uh sometimes for for people's homes mm mm wow and that just takes the 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 old myth of many different places that uh we all are in the tree of life yeah i mean that takes it to a whole another level doesn't it which is many many of our old ancient stories so thank you thank you thank you thank you is there anyone else who'd like to share oh yes kavita yes Wow, so beautiful! Yes. Please so, tell us. This is where I started. Ah, uh, so <laughs> uh, sorry, my throat is not fine today. So this is the castle, and I could see, you know, the green trees, the greenery, as I, you know, as we imagine in fairy tales. So it was a fairy tale for me, a magical one, and I could see a pathway. This is my cow. that uh, music this is the sea the children dancing and all over the castle you can see greenery 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 everywhere the sun clouds and the golden bird is here yes with that glowing yes. light yes so i couldn't uh, you know you know think about the dragon only for me was nature joy happiness yes i was carried away with all those feelings and emotions you know and i just 
wanted to just color it. Thank you so much, Nicholas. Thank you. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Mm. Is there anyone else who would like to share? Yes, Aparna. Yes, please. So, um, so I, I, I uh, the something that stood with me. It was, uh, you know, the cow and the the castle, uh, which was a happy place. And then everything was happy as long as the birds sang on the tree, and <laughs> uh, the two children, uh, the two children, and uh, they they the happy times with the cow. And then, of course, something bad happens, and the bird is taken away across the sea to the mountain, and uh, the fire mountain, and the dragon who sits in the cave. You can see the face of the dragon. Yes. How my yes. dragon looks. And uh, so, because it's taken away, so they are the children, as in, in my mind, uh, you know, decide to go. But then the words that stayed with me was, it's too far, and then the cow says, I'll help you. And then I wrote, it's too wide when they reach the sea. And then he says, I'll help you. And then, you know, it's too hot. And of course, I love the humor. It says, now you're on your own. And so, uh, <laughs> so, so the bird, you know, the children go and they sing and he go, you know, and then they get all back. So what I've done in, in my mind that I took the taking away uh, of the bird and dotted lines and the coming back of it with hearts which is really a happy sign. So I got them back with hearts. Oh. oh, show that to us a little closer, if you would, please. The step, the, the lines and the hearts. Uh, the image is stopped. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. well, she'll come back in a moment. Come back, come back, come back. Did you all, as she's coming back, the idea of the, so there are all these things that, um, I can talk a moment while she's coming back. There are things that I did not say that are in the story, right? How important that part of the story is that makes it unique and special to you or to the children that you're telling it. That's very important, very important, and, and gives such beauty and such such uh, such color to the story the hearts coming back there you are aparna oh we're glad you're back please please show us your 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 drawing again with the the hearts and the footprints coming back oh okay yeah so uh, while going it was just a, you know it was just snatched away but while coming back it's uh, joyful coming back so you know the uh, the whole coming back is with hearts uh, and uh, you know, and uh, so when it's back on the tree, of course it's happy and peace prevails and happiness is restored. And of course, my cow is eternally happy because it helps everyone around it. So mm -hmm. that's thank you for the opportunity to draw and to listen to your beautiful story. Thank you. Thank Nicholas. you. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to share their drawing? Okay, may I, uh, thank you to everyone who's drawn. May I show you mine? Now, I, I, was, I was doing a little more talking this time, so I didn't quite, uh, didn't quite uh, finish, but that's all right. That is okay. So here is, um, oh, I cannot see how, okay, I have to go here. All right, so here is my drawing, and I have the dragon asleep, and the children, the children are singing. The children are, I'm going to make, the children are singing. Yes, see, the children are singing now, yes. And they're putting the dragon to sleep, right? They're putting it to sleep and they're bringing back the golden bird inside the cave. So, well, we are almost at time. It has been a delight being with all of you.
Typically, uh, in my programming, and I do welcome any of you, all of you, to join us at the Storytable Foundation, um, storytablefoundation.org. And uh, I have guests. I, I make, uh, I do interactive uh, storytelling just like this on Zoom. I also work in person as well. And I also make space for great storytellers from around the world. For example, at the moment I'm here in northern Minnesota at a German immersion camp and I will be bringing uh, Helmut Wittmann, who is also here, I've mentioned him twice today, uh, I'll be bringing him as a guest here at the German camp and he'll be speaking in German and he'll be bringing a story from Austria that is important to him. The question that I have my guests do is, uh, would you tell a story that you love and that you think is important for our communities? And if it can do those both, it's a good story for us. And we learn to listen to each other and the stories that are important to us and our communities. So uh, I welcome you to join. Typically at these programs, there's always space for a little more conversation. Um, we, are, we are tight on time right now, but it's important that we engage with our children. It's important that we listen to our children. One of my greatest teachers, Ms. Notando Zulu, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, who died this last year, who was my mentor, a uh, great teacher, uh, she modeled that a good storyteller is also a good listener. That's crucially, crucially important. It is not only to be able to listen to hear the story so that I can tell it again, it is actively listening to you while I am talking and while and 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 that and there are many different ways to storytell many different ways but from um, from her I learned am still learning uh, to listen and and by making space for drawings and the dance we are able to listen to each other and that is a pedagogically a very important value of mine and uh, it is something that um, it was important to her and came through in her in her storytelling and uh, and that's something to practice one's lifelong uh, and so we uh, am we have if if there is we have just um, a few moments is there any last question or, or 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 something you'd like to share before we finish out in just four minutes Oh, hello, David. Yes. Hi, Nicholas. Great to see you. Hello. Great to hear you. Great to be with you. Glad so I, I was kind of kept coming in a bit late. And uh, so I, I, I kind of, I heard the story before, so that was okay. But yes. I didn't get to draw. But I was just fascinated by the whole process. And there was lots of things that you said that got me thinking. And I would love to kind of ask you a couple of questions, if I may. Yes. So your your prompt, which I loved, because you had the we had the physicality, the kinesthetic physicality, and you talked about multiple intelligences of the of the dance. And you've asked us to focus on sound. And then you asked us to draw. And as your drawing is not only visual but very kinesthetic, because we're we're drawing with movement. And I'm fascinated by the prompt that you gave us. And I think the prompt, am I right to say you said, uh, draw the sounds you heard? Was that the prompt? We'll draw what you heard. That could be sound. Draw, draw what, what you heard. What did you hear in the story? Well, and I'm, I'm and curious, I, is, is that, is, does that prompt vary according to the story? Or is that, is that your, your always prompt? No, the, the prompt is always the same. I sometimes uh, massage it a little bit by saying what's important to you, what stood out for you in the story, what touches you perhaps. And that is a good place to enter the story and to, to, to listen deeper into the story. That's an important yeah. place. Um, so yes, it's always, it always works that way. And with so that going question... For, with the auditory into the visual and kinesthetic right. because it's important for us to to catch a part of the story that is unique because as we 
as we listen, all of us will, will enter the story at a different place, will remind us of something else and so to welcome and make space to, to, to focus on that for a moment is important entryway into the fullness of the story itself. And, and then that can expand, right? And Thank you. It's, it's a welcoming it, place. So. Wonderful. And there's one, one other thing that I would love to ask you about, and that was right at the end, you talked about the, the thing. I mean, I just loved all the, diff all the variety of the different representations of the story that people came, yes. that people created. I mean, both, I noticed both, um, uh, if I get the names right, is it Sunama, Suvarma, Suvana, and Apana were doing a mate. Not just the pictures, were creating with the paper and folding and yes, different shapes. I love, I love that, and and even on the on the phone screen. But what is it? The things that I didn't say that are in the pictures that you draw, yes. and that's fascinating, isn't it? Because is it about? associations from outside or experiences our values our beliefs the mood we're in mm -hmm. or is it and is it just about our own individual imaginations but it's just that's i mean that that fascinates me it's very important it's, it's incredibly yeah it's important. so important isn't it especially in a world where the values and the and how we see something is often told to us by the movies and the technology so it's really important that we lift up and we make space for those uh, those parts that are unseen. So, yeah, hundred percent. Thank you, David. We are at time. Thank you, everyone. I have thank put you. the the link of my website into the chat. You're welcome to take a look. It's storytablefoundation.org. Um, at the moment, I don't have a, a public Zoom session, but that will change. Uh, and I welcome. Thank you all for coming today. Really thank you, delightful thank you so much, you Nicholas Palowski. <laughs> and wonderful thank you, thank you. seeing you all. Really Hello, Miss Laura. You. Glad to see you as well. Another brilliant storyteller. And oh, uh, this so is glad the to be best with you introduction for my workshop. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it's great, Nicholas. Miss Laura is fabulous. Um, I am um, so, and 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 I'm grateful. David is here. David is also fantastic, and um, and I hope to learn more about the rest of you and your work. And uh, and I'm, thank you, Eric, for this beautiful opportunity to thank meet you uh, and to be with it was you. A so splendid, you so uh, a splendid workshop, and I especially uh, enjoyed your discussion of and demonstration of activities after telling yeah. us. We uh, are yeah. really working on that here in Chennai, and you've given us a big boost. Super. So uh, Super. thank you to the early birds, Nicholas, starting at 5 a.m. Minnesota time, and Laura now beginning at 7.30 a.m. <laughs> New York City time. Wow. We, we are really in your, your debt. Uh, let's see, I'm, I'm stopping the...